uh, players on the court from football. And another one that uh, did really well. Player gets set. Don't have a hand on the roster. I apologize about that. I mean, it's pretty tough to get basketball rosters most of the year in these away teams. Here we go. Ryan Clary takes the tip off. Tips it away. It's going to be taken by Hamburg. So here we go with final ball game of the night on Lumberjack Live. Live from Moore, Arkansas. And a nice steal right there by Darvion Brown. Tries to keep it in bounds, and he's going to be. Going to keep possession, so Darvion's going to take it out. Gets it in to Von Eric. Now gets it back to Brown. And this is a little bit different starting lineup than I uh, saw a week ago at Rising. So uh, Coach May is obviously still working to try to determine his best combinations. Inside, Khalil Thomas. Two nothing. Good start. Wonderful pass. And here we go with the press. It's going to happen all night. Von Eric Gonder's got it. Takes the shot. No good. Brown's got it up. He's going to the line to shoot two. Rob, I'm going to say this probably a hundred times, but people need to come watch this team play. You are looking at some athletes. Uh, hopefully they'll be good basketball players. Darvion takes the free throw. He's got it. Three to nothing now to score. <laughs> then you see you see so many football players out here. Now obviously this doesn't always translate into other sport victories, but or at least it hasn't in the past. But this is a group of uh, a group of players who this season have not known much failure in conference play. Gonder should have held up there. He pressed that just more than he had room to, but we are going to run. Hamburg gets it back. 6.44 to go in the first. Jacks have a 3 to nothing lead. Deep three taken. It's good. We're going to have to guard him. 3-3 three to three now. Let's score. Brown gets it inside. Broughton shot. Good. I believe that was Trent Broughton. No. Nope. I'm sorry. I apologize. That's Troy Smith. I'm getting my numbers correct now. I'm gonna have to, it's going to take me a little while. Well, again, your uh, football fans will recognize him running yeah. for touchdowns with passes. He's uh, quite an athlete I himself. It. I got to admit, LaFour doesn't look quite as tall out here as he did in football to <laughs> me. But, <laughs> but he's got a wide body and a good-looking uh, physical specimen. He's... Free throw good. Six to three. Looks like we got a timeout called by Hamburg. We're going to take a quick commercial break. We'll be right back after these messages. Don't go anywhere. For 45.58 or check us out on the web at www.sautech.edu. SAU Tech is no longer South Arkansas's best kept secret. SAU Tech provides a quality education for an affordable price right here where you live. Online classes, technical degrees, and transfer degrees make SAU Tech a good choice to start your educational journey or to jumpstart your career. Call us and let us put you first. 870-574-4558 or check us out on the web at www.sautech.edu. Hi, I'm Clay Cox, running back for the Lumberjacks and a member of the class of 2015. You're watching Lumberjack Live on SalineRiverChronicle.com. Let's go, Jacks. Welcome back to Lumberjack Live on SalineRiverChronicle.com. I'm Rob Reap alongside Greg Reap. 6-3 to three the score. The Lumberjacks have the lead with 6.22 to go in the first. It's been a fast-paced ball game so far. They're getting some... Liquid's picked up off the floor down here on one end. You don't want anybody slipping. That's dangerous on the basketball court. So, not sure where it came from, but they've definitely got some. It's, it's out of bounds, but, of course, it's right there under the goal or behind the goal. They're really working on it. I don't know. There were several spots, too. I'm kind of wondering what's what happened. Well, 
wondered if they're having, they were all looking up. At, it's right under one of the big fans at the end of each, each end of the gym. I'm wondering if they got some kind of leak or something there. That's, but anyway, here we go. Hamburg takes it out. Again, they're down six to three. They're out of Warren Lumberjacks. Pass inside. They're looking to try to get a shot off. Jumper up. No good. Khalil Thomas gets the rebound. Gets it off. Here's LaFoy Smith again. It's good. Eight to three. Fast paced. Beautiful passes. Running like just like racehorses. It's just uh, we got a foul called on Bonnell Gonder. Coach May says that's all right. Well, they are putting the pressure on. You got to think he realized with the athletes that he's got that he's got the ability to press for the majority of the ball game now. Hamburg back near half court. Again, Khalil Thomas knocks it out of bounds there. It'll be Hamburg basketball. Good defense still. High pressure defense, high pressure offense. This body's flying around everywhere out there for the Warren Lumberjacks right now. They even got the center out there. Three point shot up, no good. Donner's got the rebound. He's going to push it down the court pretty quick. Goes behind his back, still has possession. Shot up, going to be knocked away. Hamburg's got it. They're coming down the court now pretty quick. They miss it. Now looking for a three-point shot. It's up. Rims out. Darvion Brown going up. Shot no good. Got to slow things down a little bit more to just get that shot off. Before Smith takes a shot, and he's fouled. He's going to the line to shoot two. Well, this is going to be some work keeping up with this. I mean, it is go, go, go whenever they get the ball. So Before Smith at the line to shoot two. Here's his first. It's up, no good. 4.40 to go in the first period. 8-3. to three. Today's game brought to you in part by Sonic, Golden Girls, Arkansas Superior Federal Credit Union, Dr. Donnie Bryant and Dr. Julie Bryant, Hooper's Body Shop, Warren Tire, Dr. Martin Bryant, and SAU Tech. Both of those free throws are missed, but Warren gets the rebound, and Darvion Brown... At the point, gets it back out. Kicks it over to Khalil Thomas. Back to Brown. Inside to LaFoy Smith. He's got a shot. He got it. Good. <laughs> I'm having trouble passing around so quick. Great penetration. 10-3 to three the score. Pump fake, looking for the three again. Steps inside, shot up, no good. They're going to the line to shoot two. Amber's got a couple of athletes out there that can really apparently shoot the basketball. They've had one three, and they're moving it around pretty well offensively. And it's on Gonder. That's his second foul. And it looks like Kalei Cox is going to come in, perhaps for Gonder. That free throw missed. Now that's just an all-state, all-state sophomore running back in football that just came in. It's a guy I wouldn't want to mess with. I wouldn't want to be in front of him. I'll say that. I don't know if it goes, goes quite the same way in basketball. That ball rims out clear. He's got the rebound. Gets it off to Brown. Brown's bringing it down the court. Setting up his offense. Kicks it off to Clay Cox. Over to Smith. Inside. Khalil Thomas has it. Back in. Nice shot by Darby on Brown. Rebound and a shot. 12 to 3. Tremendous quickness. You got a walk. Turnover. Back one's way in the press doing its job. Clary takes the shot. No good. 
And look at that. Got a jump ball, and it's going to be Warren basketball. Tremendous hustle by Warren. I believe that was Khalil. Khalil Thomas, tremendous hustle. Brown takes it out and gets it off to Corey Cox. Over to Khalil inside to McCoy Smith. That's got to be a foul. No call, though. And Hamburg can't get the shot to fall. They retain possession. And I think they got by with one there. Three-point shot, no good. It's going to be out of bounds. It'll be one basketball. 12-3 lead for the Lumberjacks with 3 0 to go in the first. And the Jack Pack is fired up down there. Checking into the game number 15, Demetric Green. This kid I don't know a whole lot about, so we'll just have to learn as we go. Got good height on him, though. Khalil Thomas trying to get it inside of Darvion. Pass wasn't there. Well, that's a bad pass. Shouldn't have tried that one. Never was there. Hamburg getting it down to the offensive end now. Here's the jumper. Hits the side of the backboard. Green's got the rebound. Gets it to Darvion. Darvion's going to bring it down the floor at the point. Near half court. Pressing forward. Brown looks inside. He's got Green. Got a foul. Green's going to the line to shoot two. And quick passes. They're getting it inside. Beautiful foot pass. Great dribbling and then a great pass to penetrate. These guys wear me out just watching them. <laughs> well, I get tired, but I'm having fun. You need to come watch these kids play. And it falls. Demetri Green on the board now. That makes it 13 to 3. You've got a 10 point game. One more shot. Green set. Second shot up, no good. Doesn't hit the rim. I think we have a new player, number 21, that's come in for That's going to be uh, Demarcus Davis. And the heavy press again on to Laycox. Yeah, it's like we've got a foul on the Lumberjacks that's going to go on green. And Berg still trying to find some opening. Zone nearly works there as they're in a 2 3 zone. Open jumper. Cannot fall. Hamburg gets the rebound. We got a foul on the play. Not sure who it's on. It looks like it's going to be on Kalei Cox. I thought he might have walked. I thought he just but came uh, down a little hard. I didn't think it was uh, much of a foul. But nonetheless, it's a foul. Hamburg still has the basketball. Three-point shot, good. Got to guard that kid. 13 to six now the score. Brown bringing it down the floor. To Laycox, back to Brown. Over to Davis. Inside to Green. Green trying to get it back inside. He's still got the ball now. It's going to be off of him. Hamburg basketball. Got to be a little bit more solid with it inside. Not well, to dribble so much. We're not catching the ball. And he stepped out. He did. He stepped across the line. Darvion Brown taking it out. Gets it deep to play Cox. Cox gets set. Trying to get his offense set. Takes a step back. Davis inside. Shot. He's going to go to the line to shoot two. 
for Marcus Davis at the line for the Lumberjacks. Two points. And that's five fouls on Hamburg, so we're... Here's the shot. Up. Oh, no good. Second shot up. Will not fall, so Hamburg gets it. No damage done to them. 13 to 6 with a minute left in the first quarter. Shot, no good. Rebound up and good. Not a good job of blocking out at all by Warren that time. We just we shouldn't have, they shouldn't have got that. Great defense and didn't then block out. And we're leaving them in the game. Brown takes a shot and he's gonna go to the line to shoot two. We've got a number 32 in the game. I don't have a 32 on my roster, but trying to figure out who that is. Came in for Clary. Shot up and good, 14 to eight now the score. Brown hits the free throw. 21 seconds to go in the first quarter. Here's Brown's second shot, it's up, no good. Hamburg blocks out and they've got the rebound. Once again, we got beat on the baseline. We played it inside and we got beat on the baseline. The Brown takes a three-point shot at the end of the first. 14 to 10. We're going to take a quick commercial break. We'll be right back. Tech is no longer South Arkansas's best-kept secret. SAU Tech provides a quality education for an affordable price right here where you live. Online classes, technical degrees, and transfer degrees make SAU Tech a good choice to start your educational journey or to jumpstart your career. Call us and let us put you first. 870-574-4558 or check us out on the web at www.sautech.edu. Hi, I'm Chris Norton, former Lumberjack All-Conference offensive lineman, member of the class of 2006, and head football coach of the West Memphis Christian School Black Knights. You're watching the number one sports program in the River Region, Lumberjack Live, on SaleneRiverChronicle.com. Welcome back to Lumberjack Live on SaleneRiverChronicle.com. We're courtside tonight, 14-10 to 10 the score. At the start of the second quarter, the Lumberjacks have the lead over the Hamburg Lions. It's been a fast-paced ball game. Warren jumped out to a big early lead. We kind of let Hamburg creep back into it a little bit. But after the quarter break there, we'll see what Coach Jimmy May said to his guys. Hamburg working the ball inside. They've got a chance to make this a two-point game. This is a three-point shot. Again, nobody blocking out. Uh, we've, we've given up several points with no block outs. On, uh, it's just, that's not, not well done at all. 14 to 12 the score now. Khalil Thomas working inside, and it's going to be stolen. That's a, wasn't an open pass there. And now Hamburg with the baseline once again. Jumper, we got a foul. They're going to line for two. Hamburg seems to have kind of figured out a secret of some sort. Well, we've, uh, we're off on, we're just off. We're not breaking into the lanes like we were. Uh, we're just having a little trouble offensively right now. Shot up, no good, still 14 to 12. So they cannot tie it up here with this next shot. 7.24 to go in the second quarter. Second free throw up and good. We got a one point game, 14 to 13. Clary takes it out. Brown's gonna bring it down the court. Works it over to Clay Cox, thinks about a three, but decides against it. And Hamburg now with a chance to look like a pretty clean block to me. Uh, I guess he considered his body got him, I guess. He? That's 
two on Darby. Oh, that's a tough call, I gotta be honest. I thought if anything it might have been goaltending. Tie ball game, 14-14. That's a momentum changer. Well, Warren has quit scoring. We have quit scoring points. Uh, we've just gone flat. Justin Gorman checks in for Brown. Second shot up, good. They got a lead for the first time, 15-14. Clay Cox gonna bring it down the floor. Inside to Clary. Clary dribbles. Well, he gives it away. You can't dribble that close inside. With the big man. Hamburg's playing really solid basketball right now. Just good half-court basketball. Three-point shot up. No good. Rebound made by Clay Cox. Gorman shot up. No good. Hamburg's got it. We got two layup shots and missed both of them. Just still playing football. Six seventeen to go in the second quarter. Three point shot, no good. Gorman off the tips of his fingers and it goes out of bounds. We haven't scored in a while. That one right there is going to be on number three, Therese Hampton. Mm, this is kind of one of those cases where all of a sudden nothing's going our way. We tip that ball away, but right to the guy. Shot up, no good. 15 to 14 still the score. Hamburg with the lead. Here's the second shot. It's up. And it is good, 16 to 14, still a one possession game. And Clary gives it right away. And now it's 18 to 14, and once again, it's knocked out of bounds this time more in basketball. Yeah, you've seen a number of mistakes by Warren right now. It's just some real, we got several new players in, and they're just they're making mistakes. All right, timeout on the floor. We're going to take a quick commercial break. Tech is no longer South Arkansas's best kept secret. SAU Tech provides a quality education for an affordable price right here where you live. Online classes, technical degrees, and transfer degrees make SAU Tech a good choice to start your educational journey or to jumpstart your career. Call us and let us put you first. 870-574-4558 or check us out on the web at www.sautech.edu. Welcome back to Lumberjack Live on SlingerRecronical.com. I'm Rob Reap alongside Greg Reap. 5.53 going in the second quarter, 18-14 to 14 to score. Warren down to Hamburg. Trying to work a pass in. Clay Cox has it. Gets it tipped away. It's going to be Warren basketball still. Warren having trouble breaking the press. Well, we had a 12-3 lead, and it's 18-14, to 14, so that tells you what's happened. We're going to have to get some ball handlers in, and we're going to let this get out of control. We're not and that's exactly what's happening. Gonder, yeah. Brown, Thomas all checking back in. And immediately, Hamburg finding kits of their own. It's off of them. It's Warren basketball. A good pressure defense immediately makes a difference. Donner gets it in to Garvion Brown. Brings it down the court. Got to get some points here. Donner, three-point shot up. No good. Brown with the rebound. No good. Clary gets it. Good. 18 to 16. Still too many shots he's taking there, though. Yeah, we're, we're missing point blank shots. We're still just not quite ready. He walked. He did walk. He did. He definitely walked. He was fumbling around with it, didn't quite. 
having trouble getting complete control, but Brown now comes down the court. Clary gets the shot and he's going to the line. If he ever gets consistent in there when he gets the ball, he's going to be a force. It's not quite there yet, but he's going to be a force. 18 to 16 with 504 left in the second quarter. Clary, here's the shot, no good. Not making our free throws. Clary sets up again. Here's the second. It's good. 18 to 17 now score. Crowd's getting loud. Trap. He breaks out of it. LaFoy Smith blocks it out of bounds. It's going to still be hammered basketball. Can't let him break out of that trap that easily. No, we're, 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 getting, we're getting beat. We're taking bad angles. We're not... Uh, Clipped away, it remains Hamburg ball. Donner on the defensive, now Brown steps up in that 2-3 zone. Donner's got it, they got it open. Brown, dumps it. 19-18 the score with 420 to go in the second quarter. Back back, getting a little too over anxious. Well, I think the most of them were out on the court. That was a uh, uh, so the official asked Coach May to explain that to him. He did. <laughs> That's what's so different about high school basketball. It's so much closer and intimate. 19-18 lead. LaFoy Smith steals it. Brown's got it. Again! 21-18. And the momentum that Hamburg had is gone. Timeout, Lions. Four one to go in the second quarter. And Thomas. Brown and Gonder have changed the entire thing. No, no question about it. It's just the athletic ability. The athletic ability that they got. is just tremendous. These officials are really getting a little aggravated here, so we're going to have to. But they, they're, they're not doing a good job of giving anybody any notice. Let's uh, just be honest with you. This is a typical, exciting high school basketball game, and uh, they don't need to lose control of it. Knocked away, but it's going to remain Hamburg ball. 21-18 with 357 to go in the second. Hamburg basketball as they check it in. And they're down the floor. Working around the three-point line still. Trying to find something inside. Nearly stolen by Smith. Two-point jumper up. No good, but they get the rebound. Still no good. Warren's got it. Brown. Dribbling down the court, we got a foul, reach-in foul on Hamburg. The Warren's going to the line, Brown will shoot. We're at a one and one. Exciting game so far. Well, I, I expected Warren to be exciting. We would go through a little flat period there where we didn't didn't score much. Had some of our starters on the bench. 
But when we're on, we're awful good. Garvion Brown lines up for the one and one. Here's his first. It is no good, so he won't get a second. It's one, one place we're failing right now. We're not shooting free throws well. Hamburg trying to work it inside, but stolen. Khalil Thomas gets it. He gets it out to Brown. Brown's going to slow it down. Smart move. 21-18 with three minutes to go in the second quarter. Inside to Clary. Clary is going to be fouled. Are they going to say he walked? Perhaps? Yeah, he, he did. He walked. He's playing with the ball down at that shoulder. He needs to get them long arms, get the ball over his head. And they're beating on him pretty hard in there, but he's going to have to get used to that. He's going to have to get very physical. Brown trying to get the steal. And he's going to have a jump ball, Warren possession. Thought he might have walked before it was a jump ball. I, I was calling Warren over there. <laughs> I did too, but did call a jump ball, and it is Warren's ball. So. Oh, the athleticism of Darvion Brown, but the hands, the, the, I mean, the coordination is just unbelievable. Before Smith kicks it out to keep the real Thomas three-pointer, no good. Tipped up, Hamburg's got the rebound. We're going to have a foul called. Looks like it's going to be on Lafoy Smith. Uh, not sure it was over the back. Thought they were both kind of fighting for it. I did too. We should have had the ball. We just did not get our hands on it. And apparently this puts them in a... I already see a couple of places we need to improve free throws and rebounding occasionally. Uh, we're not blocking out well at times. And we're, uh, we're spotty with our, even with our shooting. We're just, we haven't been able to really knock down anything from outside. Which occasionally you need to do. His first free throw, no good on the one and one. They get their own rebound though, take the shot up. We got an over the back call on Hamburg. Ryan Cleary did have the position there. That was a good yeah, job it, blocking that out. That was much better, yes. So he'll go to the line now. Well, with all this fouling, we're going to be at the foul line every time somebody touches another <laughs> one. Cleary was lining up underneath. He's so used to going to that direction. <laughs> He's taking the shots. He's at the foul line, one and one. We need to hit some foul shots. Yeah. Getting lots of opportunities. We need to score. Here's his first. Rims out. And Hamburg gets the rebound. Going to slow things down a little bit. Three-pointer up. And three-pointer good. Well, we've left him alone every time, and he's hit every one of them. 21-21, so tie ball game with two minutes to go in the second. We have totally dominated them, and it's tied. Clary, one dribble, and he's going to go back to the line to shoot two. This is where you got to make those free throws. Got to start making some of them, at least the first one. Again, 21-21 with two minutes to go in the second quarter. Ryan Clary here to shoot two. His first one's up, and it's good. That's better. I hope number double zero for Hamburg's one of their offensive linemen in football. He's a big young man. Here's Clary, second. Doesn't go. Of course, Smith's got the rebound. He goes up, and he gets it to fall. So that turns into a three-point play in, in, in effect. Good job. 24-21 now the score. Warren with the lead. Donner's got to be careful not to get a foul here. And it's going to hit. Warren basketball. Hit underneath the goal. I'm glad the Hamburg player didn't see him sooner because he was open <laughs> faster. But he, he was a little hesitant throwing the ball. And Brown bringing it down the court. 137 to go in the second quarter. Gets it over to Khalil Thomas. Back to Brown. Over to Gonder. Gonder. Three-pointer. Up. Good. Von Eric Gonder. Coach May told me Von Eric was shooting much better. That pass high. Has the slow Hamburg down. Three-pointer up. No good. Cleary's got the rebound. Nice strong hands. 27-21. They're working it down the floor pretty quickly. It's tipped away. Hamburg's got a breakaway. They're going to have a reach-in foul on Darvion Brown. That may be three on him. 
He's got he's got to be a little more cognizant of that. He can't he can't do that. It wasn't necessary. And that is three on him. And it changes everything if you take him out of the game. Yeah, absolutely. He should have just let that go. This free throw attempt is good. Hamburg staying in this game at the foul line and with a three-point shooting. Well, some things to ponder over during halftime. Some definite message to give to your team. Second free throw up, no good. Clary got the rebound, so that helps out. Gets it over to LaForce Smith now back this time to Believe that Shaq, is number one. Shaq Thomas. Shaq Thomas, Demario Thomas. Who started a lot last year and is Clary takes the jumper. No good. Hamburg's got the rebound. They're doing a good job on the boards. They, right. they block out they, they really well. 37 seconds to go, 27-22 here in the second. Now you gotta at least make them work for that three-point yeah, shot. That. Pass inside, Thomas has it. They've got a three-on-one breakaway. Thomas gives it away. Getting it down the court now, LaFoy Smith. And we got a foul. They're going up for two shots. Well, we're, we're again, we, uh, I'm not sure we've got as many ball handlers as I thought we were going to have. But when you take Darby on out, we're not handling the ball that well. First free throw, that is keeping them in the game. 27-23. Well, that pass, honestly, even with that three-on-one breakaway, wasn't the angle was not there yet. So no, it wasn't. Kind of a bad decision. But Thomas is going to bring it down the floor. We need to get one more shot here. Eight seconds to go. Clary, two seconds. He gets it off. No good. So we're going into half, up 27-23, not bad. Probably should be up by a few more, but we'll take the lead. Some things to talk about at halftime. We'll be right back after these messages. We'll have music playing during half, and then we'll be back. Just, just keep your eye on the, uh, on the screen. SAU Tech is no longer South Arkansas's best-kept secret. SAU Tech provides a quality education for an affordable price right here where you live. Online classes, technical degrees, and transfer degrees make SAU Tech a good choice to start your educational journey or to jumpstart your career. Call us and let us put you first. 870-574-4558 or check us out on the web at www.sautech.edu. SAU Tech is... Welcome back. Halftime here. I want to give our sponsors one shout before we go to our music here. Sponsors of today's game include Sonic of Warren, Golden Girls Restaurant, Arkansas Superior Federal Credit Union, Dr. Donnie Bryant and Dr. Julie Bryant, Hooper's Body Shop, Warren Tire, Dr. Mark Bryant, and SAU Tech. Thank you to all the sponsors again. It's half time here. Jacks have a 27-23 lead. We're going to uh, let you enjoy the Zaza sounds here. It's a tribute to their routine. And uh, we're going to play some music and uh, just let you guys have a little bit of a break from our voice. And we're going to give our voice, voices a break. So stick with us. We'll be right back with the second half of play.
Welcome back to Lumberjack Live on SwingRiverGronicle.com. I'm Rob Reap alongside Greg Reap getting the third quarter started in just a few minutes. The score at halftime, Warren 27, Hamburg 23. Long way to go in this ball game. It's, it's had its ups and downs from both sides. Warren's been a little streaky, especially in scoring. And uh, have not particularly shot our free throws well. And the officials, the Hamburg, officials Hamburg forgot where they were going. They went wrong direction. They went back court. The officials got things started uh, this rather quickly. Rather interesting, Rob. The officials went ahead and started the count uh, for the. And I think we've got a technical foul. These guys, they, they rushed to get this game half started, and they and both teams were still coming on the court, and they started the 10-second the count, and the five-second count, excuse me, and uh, then Hamburg got all confused and went the wrong way. And now I think we've got a technical foul called. And now the Hamburg coaches, this is really confusing. I, I, re I really don't understand why these officials had to hurry up and get out here and start this because they let these teams get out on the on the floor. I don't I don't know what the big rush was. They were both coming back out, and they got over here and started the count for the, to put the ball in bounds. And I think they're going to uphold the technical foul, looks like, on Hamburg. I think he was saying Hamburg had six players on the court. I, I believe that's what they called. So Brown trying to drops the first one in, 28-23, and this is yeah. not going to go over well with some of these fans here in ha from Hamburg. Here's the second shot. He hits them both and we get the ball. That's good. Uh, it, it was it was an odd situation. I'll be honest. Um, the, both teams had already come out of the locker rooms. Hamburg was was behind just a little bit. I don't even know if Warren was completely out there. If Boy Smith takes a shot, no good. It's going to be off of Warren. It'll be Hamburg basketball. He may have called a foul. So the press is going to be on. tipped away it's going to be Hamburg ball again so we got in the third quarter off in a rather odd fashion but nonetheless we've got a 29-23 lead Clary gets it he gets it out to Brown Brown on a break he's fouled no he's not and Hamburg's got the ball not sure how he was not fouled and now Khalil Thomas has it gets it down the floor Brown again He's got a chance. And he lays it in and the foul. Wow. Marvin, uh, he was a game changer. You, be, you better get back when he's running because he's going. He can take it over on his own, it looks like. I mean, he's got he's got some help out there, no doubt about it. But he is an impact player tonight, at least. So here's the shot, trying to make it an old-fashioned three-point play. And he does it. 32-23, now your score, Warren with the lead. Hamburg, for all the momentum they picked up in the first quarter, first half, I mean, tipped away Brown trying to fight for it. Gone it, and Hamburg's finally got it back. They may have an easy basket here, and they certainly do. Kind of bad luck there. Good defense and just didn't quite get the bounce or go your way, but... I don't, I don't think you're going to pull away from these guys. They're too solid on no. basketball. I don't, I don't fault that play there, though, defensively. No. You had two guys trying to make a commitment to the ball. He called him for walking, and I, I think he probably did take a little shuffle. Warren's making a lot of mistakes, though, as well as they're playing. They're making a lot of mistakes. Again, in the zone. 
Three-point shot up. No good. Brown's got it. He pushes it down the floor pretty quickly, but now slows it up. He's going to set up his offense this time. That was a good decision. Inside pass. We weren't He's ready. There. We weren't ready. And surely there was an over-the-back call there somewhere. Brown had good position inside, but they don't call it. Good, good job on Darvion not to foul the Hamburg player going in originally because he's got three on him already. We can't afford to take him out. Six minutes to go in the third quarter. And it looks like we've got a journalist for Hamburg that has been tossed. I think that's exactly what they've done. He was yelling earlier in the first quarter, and he gets tossed. I, I think this is a guy with a journalist from Hamburg. He's got a he's got purple on, so I'm going to assume he, he's from there. Apparently, he said something the official didn't like. He threw him out. Well, he I, mean, I saw earlier he was making some comments when he was underneath the goal. Well, we're just we're just getting beat too much back. 32 to 27 now the score. Clary's getting overpowered in the middle. He's got to get a little tougher in He's going he's going to get physical. They just took that away from him. So Brown and slows they, it down. They got a fast break as a result of it. It just Donder gets his shot blocked, keeps it in. Hey, I've seen better officiating jobs yeah, than I'm seeing here tonight on both yeah, sides. I, 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 well, I'm going to be, I'm gonna be honest. He did double dribble, but it was about four seconds earlier than that, <laughs> and he didn't call it. <laughs> these guys seem to have quick tempers, these officials there. Oh, yeah. Three-point shot up. Does not fall. Before Smith has the rebound, gets it off to Darvion. And now, now is when you want to – you guys, not necessarily veterans, but your leaders to step up and kind of take control of this game. Right there with Foy Smith is fouled, and he's going to the line to shoot two. I, I would suggest some of Warren's players pay attention to the Foy and the way he physically plays. Uh, you have to foul him to stop him, and he don't back off. Very strong. Free throw shot up and good. Nice job by LaFoy. You start knocking those down, you make it a lot harder on your opponent. That, that helps. 33-27 with 4.50 to go in the third quarter. Second free throw up and good. 34-27. Now you got to get back on D pretty quick. Hamburg's going to try to push this thing a little bit. Nearly stolen. Gonder takes it. He's got a chance. And he lays it in. 36 to 27. Von Eric Gonder with the basket. Beautiful finger roll. Nearly gets another one picked. Well, we just got beat that time. Yeah. We didn't get back. Quick transition. Nice shot slow. by the Lions. Slow getting back. We didn't we didn't react very fast. LaFoy Smith, air ball on the three. Looks like number 15 for the Lumberjacks. If I can find my roster here, because I don't actually, I think that's green. I believe it is. Number 15, Demetri Green's going to the line to shoot two. He did a good job of rebounding the missed shot, which missed everything, but he got it. Here's a shot, and rims out. Just really need to shoot those free throws better overall. He's a lefty, you can tell. Second one rims out as well. He doesn't have that touch right now. He's putting too much English on the ball. He's spinning it as he shoots. Shot up, no good. LaFoy Smith now pushing it down the floor. He gets out and blocked away. Uh, got to slow that down. That wasn't there. Uh, and we got a uh, carry. Yeah. Brown picks up his dribble, gets it off to Gonder. Back to Brown. Back to Gonder. 
Trying to work it over. Cuts it across court to a Foy Smith. Now back to Brown. Brown takes a three-point shot. No good. Yonder's got the rebound. Cuts it back to a Foy Smith. LaFoy drives in solid. Got it blocked. i uh, tell you what. I don't... And that's a basket in there for Hamburg. As it's 36-31. Looks like we're going to have... Not only time after an injury, but Boy Smith looks to be shaking up a little bit. He got hammered down here on the other end. I, I do, thought there was a foul. I don't see how in the world that never got called. Seems to be an ankle or a foot. He's walking, but he's played excellent. Again, 36-31 with 3.16 to go in the third quarter. Inside green. And Warren turns it over. Just very poor ball handling. Very poor. Therese Hampton now into the game. Number three. Warren in a 2-3 zone. Three-point shot up. And good. 36. Well, he'll hit it every time, and he's going to beat us if we keep leaving him out there. And we have, not, we have nobody on him any time he gets the ball. And uh, Warren just playing, not playing very good basketball right now. Coach May calls a timeout. He wants to talk it over with his guys. We'll be right back after these messages. No longer South Arkansas's best kept secret. SAU Tech provides a quality education for an affordable price right here where you live. Online classes, technical degrees, and transfer degrees make SAU Tech a good choice to start your educational journey or to jumpstart your career. Call us and let us put you first. 870-574-4558 or check us out on the web at www.sautech.edu SAU Tech is green. Welcome back to Lumberjack Live on SelenaRiverGonagle.com I'm Rob Reap alongside Greg Reap 2.35 to go in the third quarter we got a two point ball game the Jacks up 36-34 over Hamburg Emotions running high in this game. We've already had one ejection. Looks like a Hamburg journalist got ejected, but <laughs> Lumberjacks have done really well most of the night. But the bench has let them down just a little bit. And they've been hurt with the three ball. Gonder. That's it back to Therese Hampton. Over to Garvion Brown, shot no good. Clary tries to get it, shot up. Hampton's got it. Nice job by Therese. They're breaking the press a little too easy right now as well. And good Green, job. Green tries to get a hold of it. He does tip it. Goes out on him, and it'll be Hamburg basketball. 2-10 to go in the third. <clears throat> Thinks about another three-point shot. Decides against it. Hamburg shot up. No good. Clary's got it. Gets it out to Garvion. Tried to float it in to Clary, and that pass just wasn't there. And now Darvion's having, he's having to hold back. He's got too many fouls. He's got too many fouls, and that was, we're, we're just not playing good basketball. We're forcing the ball 38-36. Uh, and we're not getting much offensive movement. Into Clary. Clary takes a dribble, takes a shot, gets a second shot, he gets it in. 40 to 36. Really want to see that go in the first time. Well, he's got to get the ball up higher. He's still trying to shoot from his chest. Got to get back. Here's the jumper, no good. Green's got it, he gets it to Gonder. Gonder pushing it down the floor. <laughs> Coach Mayer with a look on his face, and where was the foul there called? Hamburg throws it away. Well, it's amazing some of the fouls they've called, and then some of them they have yeah, it's, it's, it's been an odd night. It's been kind of inconsistent. Justin Gorman coming back in. I understand he's a good outside shooter. We can get him set up. Brown will take the ball down at the point. 40 to 36 with 40 seconds to go in the third period. 
Brown just going to kind of sit there with it. Now he moves, gets it over to Gorman. Gorman decides against the three-point shot. Brown now holds it. Gets it over to Therese Hampton. Over to Green. Good play. And Darvion having to get out of some trouble. That may be the single worst call I've seen all night right there. He called him for carrying the ball. And uh, he got bumped hard about three times. That was a call he was just ready to get that over with. <laughs> well, I think both teams can have a lot to complain about tonight in terms of officiating. Well, very poorly played by Warren at the end. Let him get the ball inside and then fouled him. We've got a ways to go to learn how to play basketball. Uh, we're very athletic, but we make a lot of, a lot of mistakes. 40 to 36. They're going to get two shots here yeah. before the fourth quarter gets going. Yeah, Rob of uh, the first, no good, and that helps. I was just going to say, uh, we've got a big crowd. We talked about that. And have another old lumberjack in the house tonight that yeah. missed both free throws. Scored a few points in this gym in his day, Jerry Watts. Uh, All-state basketball player back in 1972. All-state football player. Glad to have him. He's moved back to Warren. He's here, here watching the Lumberjacks tonight. Well, he's been a good game. Eight minutes to go in this ball game. The fourth quarter about to get started, and it's 40 to 36. So here we go. You got your five guys out there. Darvion Brown, Therese Hampton, Justin Gorman, Ryan Clary, and uh, Demetri Green. Hampton takes it out, gets it to Brown. Brown takes it past the half-court line. Gets it over to Gorman. Gorman takes the three-point shot. It's up. No good. Hamburg gets the rebound. They're pressing pretty quickly. They're going to slow it down now, too. Four-point game. Long way to go. Green. Clary trying to get down on the baseline pretty quick. Well, once again, Warren just badly got beat as they saved the ball, and nobody covered on the goal. Clary, he's got it underneath, and a nice job in transition quickly. And now Hamburg has a chance. They're going to apparently not see it quickly enough. Take a three-point shot, no good, and they get their own rebound. Two-pointer up, no good. They get their own rebound again. We got a foul. They're going to the line. We're, we're really not moving to the ball well. Uh, we had two or three players stood there and kind of watched uh, when that ball came off that last time. We've got to attack it a lot better for the rebound. And here's the first free throw of two. First one, no good. 42 to 38 with 7.06 to go in the fourth. Here's the second. It's up. And it finds its way into the bottom of the net. Hampton gets it into Brown. Brown, they got the press on. Hamburg does. The foul, and he's going to go to the line and shoot two. And Darvion did that all himself. He sure did. Got it all the way down the court. And I'm pretty sure there was a couple of reach-in fouls that were not blown, but... You're right, some of the things that have been let go and then some of the things that have been called have been very different. First free throw falls, nice job by Darvion. The officials are constantly walking up to one of the players on both sides at different times and like, like they're scolding them for something. I don't, I don't have a clue what that was all about. Uh, and this is the second, so it's 43-39. Two-pointer up, no good. Gorman fights for the rebound. Therese Hampton finally gets it. Brown's going to slow it down now as he's going to 
at the point. Try to break through and he keeps it. Gets it over to Green. Green inside. He's got a foul and he's going to the line to shoot two. Still a little bit not careless, but just inconsistent well, strong well, with the ball. And he's have trouble holding on to it at times. Here's his first free throw. He drops it. And that's the key. Hitting these free throws. 44 to 39. So, Demetri Green for his second free throw. It's up. No good. Hamburg gets the rebound. 44-39. Three-point shot up. No good. Green's got the rebound. Gets it to Clary. Brown's now got it. Got to get it down the floor. A little bit quicker than what we're doing. Yeah, we're slowing up a little bit here. We don't really have a fast break team in the game. Gorman takes the shot. Oh, oh nice. Nice three-pointer. You needed it. I was told he could shoot, and he, he they left him alone. He put it in. 47-39. Justin Gorman. Hammer trying to work it around. Got him open for another three. Well, takes the shot, and he drains it. You cannot leave him open. I don't understand why we don't guard him one-on-one -on -one or keep somebody on him. That just, I mean, he is, I bet he's hit five of those tonight. And a nice job by Therese Hampton with the lay-in. Had two defenders on him, 49. Number three is going to beat us by himself if we don't guard him. 49-44. And they should the turn it over. And they'll go to the line to shoot two. And that's 49-44, 5 5 to go in the fourth. You're letting them have a little bit too close now. Well, Warren, it's just we, we're going through streaks when we just play horrible. And we're throwing the ball away and not handling it. Well, leaving like, people open. It's like Khalil Thomas and Von Eric Gonner getting set to come on after this free throw. Here's the first one. And he gets it to fall, so it's 49-45. Clary comes in. He's going to actually drop down into that lower spot. Gorman and Therese Hampton come off. Gonner and Khalil Thomas come on. Second free throw up. Second free throw good. So Warren will have the basketball with 49-46 lead with five minutes to go. Long way to go in this ball game. Darvion's got it. Now Von Eric. They break the press. Oh, man. Just threw the ball away just a little bit. It was there, but kind of floated it too far. We got a walk. Can't move when you're putting it in down there, and he did. Clary takes a shot, he drains the jumper. Nice job by Ryan Clary. Very, very well done. 51 46. Well, Hamburg's not backing off one inch, and their uh, they're, they're people can score. We got a timeout yeah. called by Hamburg. We're not playing very good defense in the lane. So it's 51-48, 4.42 to go. This game's going to slow down a little bit time-wise because timeouts are going to start to be called. <coughs> this is our last night of the ball, our last ball game of the night, not the last night of the ball game. <laughs> Tell I've had a long night. Warren has looked really, really good at times tonight. But we have been rather inconsistent. Here we go. Donner will take it out for the Lumberjacks. Yeah. 
Garner's got it. And he's fouled. He's going to line to shoot two. Thought there might have been a, a hole down there on on Darvion as he was trying to get open. A lot of hand grabbing. Gonder hits the free throw. That's those are gonna get bigger and bigger as this game winds down. And I don't want to jinx him, but we are shooting a little bit better at the foul line here in the Well, and I'm gonna say this after he shoots his free throw. And he misses that one, but he gets the rebound. We got a foul call. Who's it on? It's gonna be on Hamburg. I'll say this though, compared to some of the teams in recent recent years, we're we're ten times better at the line. Oh, I agree. It's I mean, unbelievable. I agree. We're just uh, we're a better basketball team we've seen in a while. Yeah. No, doubt, no doubt about it. And should get better. Should get better and better. Well, in the past we've had pretty athletic teams. They just haven't been basketball players. And I think this year you got some guys who are just all around good athletes and all around decent ball players in general. It's one, it's one thing to be an athlete, it's another thing to be a ball player. Gone there, sinks the first one. He's got one more. Or should. Wasn't that a one and one? He's a bonus. 53 48. It's, it's been interesting tonight on both several times, both teams. The players don't seem to know. When the one, one. one shot or two shots, they don't seem to. Donner hits the second, so it's 54 48 with 4 30 to go in the fourth. Once again, we got beat inside. Donner takes uh, it out, gets it into Brown. Over to Gonder. Now we give it away. Three seconds in the lane. Yeah, we kind of just stood there. But again, that was poorly when we just didn't do well handling the ball. Khalil Thomas, and he misses the. Well, we should have shot that. Hamburg's not in the bonus yet. It's 54 to 50. We have 358 to go in the ball game. Hamburg's got the basketball. They're going to take it out. Rob, I don't think the officiating is going to decide who wins this game, but it has not been well done. It's just a lot of confusion. Uh, it's just just not well done at all. They don't seem to know what they want to do. Uh, I think that was a bit of confusion on whether or not they had enough fouls for bonus. Three-point shot up, no good. Will Thomas has it, gets it to Gonder. And that's got to be a reach-in foul, does it not? Green takes the shot. We have got to make layups, and we're not making them. Just, just missing layups is goaltending. Touch the net. Well, yeah. If Warren would make it shots, this wouldn't quite be much of a ball game right now. Don is going to slow it down a bit. Brown with the basketball. We got a reach in foul. Yeah, possibly a timeout. A a timeout timeout call. Yeah. Uh, once again, name off our sponsors. Sponsors of today's game include Sonic of Warren, Golden Girls Restaurant, the Arkansas Superior Federal Credit Union, Dr. Donnie Bryant and Dr. Julie Bryant, Cooper's Body Shop, Warren Tire, Dr. Mark Bryant, and SAU Tech. A big thank you to all of those sponsors for helping us bring tonight's game to you. 
Three minutes to go. 3.08 to be exact. The Lumberjacks have won. Have a 54-50 lead over the Hamburg Lions. The scoreboard on the west side keeps going off. Of course, you got one on the east side as well, but but it's back on. It's going off about twice, but it's back on. I'm not sure what's happening. Brown's got it. Clary takes the shot and he drains it. But nicely done. Nicely done there. To 50. Ryan Clary. And it's blocked. Knocked out of bounds, but it's going to be Hamburg long. Once again, though, we gave number three the, the line. We gave him the baseline, but fortunately we got over and swatted the ball away. Thought I saw a little bit of a moving screen there, but they yeah. don't seem to call that often. Once again, we've got officials over at the scorer's table. Hamburg basketball with 2.46 to go in the game. They float one up. And Brown's got it. And that's going to be a foul automatically. Yep. So he'll go to the line. Well, it was fouling where he was going. Yeah. <laughs> one and two. He was on his way to the other end. To put is, it in the this hole. is where these free throws can be huge. You got a six point lead right now at 56 to 50. First one, it's up, and it's good. So we'll, we'll get to shoot another. That was one and one. Darby on Brown, trying to make it an eight-point game. Shots up, no good. Warren can't quite get the rebound, so it's just a seven-point game. Von Eric got it in that two-three zone. Nice job by Ryan Clary. Don't turn it over there, Ryan. I thought he was going to try to try to dribble out of people. <laughs> fortunately, he held up. Gets it over to Goner. Now's when you want to start slowing things down a little bit. Yeah, he got. And surely there's oh, a foul there. Goodness. Unbelievable. Well, I'm not sure we should have went in there with it, and uh, Darmion seems to be a, he may have just kind of got a little cramp there, but I think he's okay. 57 to 50, Hamburg's going to the line to shoot two. And first one, ball, so it's 57-51 with 2.05 to go in the game. Here's the second. It's up. And it's good. You just can't put them away. Oh, my goodness. And there it passed. Move the ball away. Terrible. From Von Eric. So it's 57 52. Hamburg ball. Rob, we're so athletic that sometimes we try to do things that I just don't think you can do. And uh, we gotta, we got to gotta learn. Again, the got a timeout call, so. They don't seem to communicate with each other very well, the officials don't. <laughs> they don't, uh, well, it's one of those things. I do not recognize any of these officials tonight from the. Ah, uh, they've been here before. Well, maybe mm -hmm. I just didn't remember.
2.05 to go again, 57-52. Coach May, it's a good opportunity to talk to him over his guys and say, look, we just got to kind of calm down and play solid. Uh, Nothing we, wild here. No, we, we don't need to be going in there trying to do something under the leg, behind the back uh, layup. If it's not just a good layup, don't do it. Just We, we need to uh, take good shots. And they just screened us off beautifully. Will Thomas gets the they, rebound. They couldn't make the, gets it to Brown. Now Darvion pushing it down the floor. That's that's a, I just got through saying what goes was the worst call I'd seen. I think that was. <laughs> Beat Darvion's arms all to pieces and then he gave them the ball. The threat to number three with the three ball is there, and that's causing us a few little issues. Clary needs to be tough right here inside. And and they throw it away. They threw it away. They catch it right there with a minute 32 to go. It's 57 to 52. Got another timeout called here by Coach May. Between the cheerleaders here. Yeah. I think it's happening. See who can do the most backflips up and down the court. Yeah. I actually think Peyton Sledge is winning. I think <laughs> she's done it. They can all do more than me. <laughs> you just need solid basketball here from you guys. Just good, calm, calculated basketball. And hit free throws. Donner's going to take it out. Gets it into Darvion. Darvion now gets it back to Gonder. Gonder is going to get it past half court to Will Thomas. And he gets it in and one. He's going to the line to shoot another. Very nicely done by Khalil. Good ball movement by Gonder as well. And Coach May's got two guys back. Here's the third. Shot, no good. Need to hit those three throws, but they're going to get back on defense pretty quickly. You've got to watch for the three ball here. And that's yeah, where it's coming. That's it. They don't get it. Donner's got it. He's coming down the floor. He's got Thomas if he wants him. He's going to get fouled. He's going to the line to shoot another two. Well, there's no slow up in this team. They're going to go. <laughs> Doesn't matter what the situation is. They're going to go. High powered, fuel injected offense. If they become good free throw shooters, they're going to be very, very good. Donner hits it. Nice job. So he's got one more chance to make it a nine-point game. This is it, but look at that. Khalil Thomas gets the rebound, kicks it back. Now Brown's got it. it. Now you want to drain some clock. Goes with the two and he gets it. 62 to 52. He floats it in there. 50 seconds to go. Thank you, spell that athlete. Yeah. That was a terrific play. Three point, no good. Yeah, there you go. Rebound. Gets it down the floor to Khalil Thomas. He's going to try to get another one. Doesn't quite, but he gets the rebound. Darvion Brown puts it in. 64 52. I think you got yourself a W. I think the fat lady singing, Rob. Mara really looked good last two minutes. Three-point shot up. No good. Thomas has got it. Kicks it out to Darvion. Darvion going deep with it. He's got Green. Green's got it. Gets it to Clary. Oh, oh Gonder. Gonder's got it. 66 to 52. And they're putting it away. No mercy. None at all. I love it. Three-point shot up. They miss it. That's it. 66 to 52. 
Hamburg goes down. And Coach May, I think you got yourself a team. And it should get better and better. We thank you so much for joining us all evening. We're very really happy to be able to bring you Lumberjack basketball, Lady Jack basketball tonight. We really do appreciate you joining us on SelineRiverRunnable.com. Lumberjack Live. That's going to do it. The final here, Warren 66, Hamburg 52. Have a great night, everybody. We'll talk to you later.